So I have this older cobalt tool. It's a reciprocating saw. It's cordless and it's meant to run off 18 volt nickel metal hydride batteries. Well, you go to the store and you can't buy the batteries for this thing anymore. So it's a good working tool, it just doesn't have a battery that works for it. So is it junk? Do you throw it in the trash? Well, not really. Um, they now sell these. Lowe's has a 24 volt lithium ion system and these batteries are ten dollars. In a previous video I made an adapter so you can connect this battery to other objects. And What I'm going to do is connect this 24 volt lithium ion battery to this 18 volt tool. Well you're thinking 24 volts on an 18 volt tool you're going to blow the tool up. No, not really. 18 volt nickel metal hydride batteries run close to 18 volts. Well, a 24 volt lithium ion battery actually only runs at around close to 20 volts when it's running. So it's only a 2 volt overage on an 18 volt um, saw. So it runs just a little bit faster than it should. It's not going to blow it up. So in this video, I am going to actually connect this with this to this. And then we're going to use this saw and I'm going to show you how it works. Alright, so let's identify the positive and negative terminals. Well, at least I think, I don't know if you can see it on here. I'm on focus. There's a little plus sign right there and a little minus sign right there. And <clears throat> the battery is plus here and minus here. So when you connect in the adapter, You have the plus here and the minus here, and then on the battery or the uh, tool, the plus is here and the minus here. So if we line this tool up to mount roughly like this, I think we'll be able to connect it in and be able to use the tool kind of the way it's meant to be used, with kind of the battery kind of offsetting the balance a little bit. Let's try that out. So after just playing around with the way the battery fits and the adapter fits, I'm going to end up gluing the uh, adapter right here and then run a wire from here to this terminal, from the positive terminal to this positive terminal, the negative terminal to this negative terminal, and solder that together and glue it up and run the tool. Alright, so I'm down at my soldering station and I have my soldering iron all warmed up. I'm going to go ahead and solder wires to these um, metal plates. They're made out of tin, so solder actually sticks to them when you heat them up, which is kind of nice. This is the positive terminal, so I'm going to connect the red wire here. And this is the negative terminal, we're going to connect the black wire here. I'm going to reconnect that red one. Didn't like the way that one connected. I'm going to strip a little bit of wire off of the back end of these so I can connect them to the tool terminals. So hopefully the tool terminals are solderable. We'll find out in a second here. I don't think that they're going to be though. We'll find out. Oh good, they are solderable. That's nice. Some metals will not adhere to solder at all, but some adhere very well. So let me tin these wires up real quick. This tool. Let's see. We have negative on the bottom down here, so I'm just gonna go ahead. 
ahead and solder the black one to there. And the red one to there. And the next thing we gotta do is go glue the adapter down to the tool itself. So one final check to make sure that I'm going to glue this in the correct place because I don't want to rip it apart after I glue it is just to stick the battery up here and make sure that everything is not going to be in the way that the fitment's correct. So it looks like it's about perfect right there. I'll mark that with a marker. And then we're going to glue it on there. So my favorite, super glue. We're just gonna tack it in place here. Just a wee bit of little super glue there and there. Give it that good old 30 second hold for super glue. And then after this sets up a little bit, I'm going to go around and re-glue it some more. And make sure it's all tight on there. Uh, still holding it. Go ahead and glue some more. glue from the underside a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to let this set up. Uh, let it sit for a little while and then we'll, we'll come back to this. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Alright, so I think the super glue is set enough. It's only been a couple minutes, but Let's go ahead and connect the battery in. So it sits there nicely on the tool. And let's see if it works. Ready? Seems like it does work. Um, let's put a blade in there and give her the good old test. So this has a quick connect mechanism, which is pretty nice. I have a DeWalt uh, metal blade here. Just snap it in there. And one of the things you commonly use a reciprocating saw for is to cut nails. So I have two 16 penny galvanized nails in this uh, piece of wood here. Let's go ahead and try and cut them off. Yeah, it looks like it works pretty good. Let's, uh, I hate using my good uh, metal blades on wood, but let's try it on some wood. Yeah, so now it's a useful tool again. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you did, and subscribe if you haven't.